It was a bitterly cold, clear winter night back in 2022. I remember cupping a piping hot mug of tea, the warmth a small comfort, as I patiently watched my brand new amateur telescope track and image the Orion Nebula. Foxes scurried through the hedgerows nearby, adding to the almost existential bliss of the moment. But that bliss quickly evaporated when I excitedly looked at the first set of images. Instead of the jaw-dropping galactic vista I expected, all I saw were dozens of light streaks. This was my first interaction with Starlink, and ever since, I've held a deep-seated hatred for it. But now, it seems many of us who despise Starlink are being vindicated. Because, as it turns out, Starlink might be doomed to fail, and it could even take SpaceX down with it. Let me explain. So, why does Starlink exist in the first place? Simply put, it was created to justify the existence of Starship. Elon Musk envisioned Starship costing only $10 million per launch, with enough annual capacity for his audacious Mars missions. But this dream hinges on a gargantuan demand for launches that simply doesn't exist. With only around 150 launch customers worldwide, many needing less than one launch a year, a huge demand was needed. Enter Starlink, a global low-Earth orbit satellite internet service designed to require dozens and soon hundreds of launches annually to maintain. In theory, this would generate massive profits for SpaceX and create the demand necessary to legitimize Starship. For a while, this plan seemed to be working. In 2023, Starlink supposedly broke even, implying its viability even while being built with the more expensive Falcon 9 rockets. Since then, Starlink's customer base has boomed, with revenues nearly doubling to $7.7 .7 billion. In fact, projections even suggested another doubling this year, with multiple billion-dollar contracts on the horizon. But notice I said was. You see, just as consumers have boycotted Tesla over Musk's increasingly controversial behavior and rhetoric, governments and major contractors are now boycotting Starlink. Last year, all major U.S. airlines rejected Starlink as an in-flight internet provider, contracts worth hundreds of millions annually. Ontario canceled a $100 million Starlink contract over U.S. tariffs tied to Musk. Mexican telecoms magnate Carlos Slim recently pulled at least $7 billion in potential contracts after Musk tried to politically slander him. Even Italy's $1.6 billion government and military contract is being condemned by opposition, citing national security risks. You can't blame them. Musk has threatened to switch off Starlink in Ukraine, a service vital to their army, and even tried to use it to circumvent the Brazilian government's crackdown on Twitter, Shex. He seems intent on using Starlink as a political weapon. Poland which pays $50 million a year for Ukraine's Starlink, has threatened to cancel if Musk pulls the plug. This has spurred the EU to heavily invest in their own alternative, Utelsat, potentially taking away billions from Musk. On top of this, with Starlink and SpaceX being privately owned, we don't know how many retail customers have boycotted. But if Tesla is any indication, that number could be shockingly high. As a result, Starlink's revenue is no longer set to explode, it may actually shrink in 2025, especially since alternatives like Utelsat already provide comparable, if not better, service, despite being far smaller. Even with a tenth of Starlink's satellites, Utelsat's system is optimized for efficiency, using geostationary satellites as hubs to significantly increase bandwidth and reach. These satellites also stay in orbit far longer than Starlink's, as they're in more stable orbits, leading to operational costs that are a mere fraction of Starlink's. Utelsat is now poised to demolish Starlink in the EU and its partner countries. This is what happens when the aim is a viable business, not artificially creating demand for an ambitious rocket. But it's not just dropping sales threatening Starlink. Musk, it turns out, was telling fibs when he claimed Starlink broke even in 2023. A Bloomberg report found he'd rigged the numbers, and that SpaceX sees Starlink's accounting was more of an art than a science. In reality, Starlink was losing hundreds of dollars on each of the millions of ground terminals shipped because Musk had understated the launch costs. In other words, even with the incredibly cheap Falcon 9, it costs too much to launch the Constellation to reach profitability. This is crucial because, unlike Utelsat, Starlink needs to launch more satellites to take on more customers and maintain internet speeds as each satellite has a set bandwidth. Its costs scale proportionately with customers. This report basically demonstrated that Starlink can never achieve profitability using the Falcon 9 and desperately needs Starship to bring costs down. 
However, as recent test flights have painfully shown, Starship itself seems like a colossal gamble. Thanks to Musk massively overestimating thrust, Starship can theoretically carry less than 50 tons to orbit, less than half its promised payload. And even carrying a tiny fraction of that, SpaceX has struggled to land the final stage for reuse, a crucial step for lowering costs. All of Musk's proposed solutions will further decrease payload and reliability. It seems likely they'll eventually abandon Starship's full reusability, only landing the booster. If you run the numbers, $10 plus million dollars per launch, losing a $90 million Starship each time, 50 tons to LEO, this makes Starship over 33% more expensive per kilogram to LEO than even their old Falcon Heavy, a rocket SpaceX already deemed not cost-effective enough for Starlink. The fact is, for Starlink to be even remotely viable, the entire globe has to trust Elon Musk with their crucial communications, and SpaceX needs to deliver on a $10 million per launch, 100-ton payload, fully reusable Starship. But Musk seems to be doing everything in his power to prove he's the least trustworthy person alive. And with each successive failed Starship launch, it looks more and more like Starship is a mess of lies, overpromises, and cronyism, destined to never reach its targets. As such, the very business that was meant to moronically justify Starship's existence, and by extension the future of SpaceX, now seems utterly doomed. What does that say about SpaceX and its future?